So are you looking to share your documents externally from ClickUp? Maybe you've made a handbook or maybe even the proposal for a client and you're looking to share it out in the wild. Well, we're gonna show you how to do that and really take advantage of the link builder inside of ClickUp Documents and really how to take advantage of it. Now, if you're new here, welcome. Please do subscribe to Keep Productive with ClickUp. And if you're new to our new concept or channel, you can find Keep Productive as well, linked in the description below, as well as ClickUp and all of the available pricing plans and details. So what I can find here is then I've got actually a documents area inside of my ClickUp. This allows me to see all of the documents that are part of my ClickUp account across all of the different locations that I might have started them. And in this case, let's say I've got this academy concept that was starting to build up ideas and thoughts, and I'm actually looking to share this externally to a client or maybe even to somebody that might wanna see it to approve it. Now, the best thing about it is you can get an indicator of who's this actually shared with already. Now, as that tool academy list that I created is actually a list that is private to me, the document that it is part of stays with me. And you can find out this is a private document at the top. Now, the great thing here is you can really modify where you want to share it. If you want to share it internally, you can choose not only the workspace, but also the list and the people you want to share it with. This is really important if you're looking to share information as part of a team, but also is to the people inside of your team. Something we'll come back to in another feature. You can actually make this public if you want to, which means that it can be viewed by people outside of the ClickUp ecosystem. Helpful for sharing thoughts on a blog or item that you and your company are sharing like that, that you want to share externally. But in this case, what I'm gonna do is share a little bit about this this document externally. So what I might do is actually make this a public link. Now, first and foremost, I can do a few things. I can actually choose what the link availability is. For example, never expire could be one of the options. But if I want to actually modify this in more detail, I need to be part of ClickUp's enterprise plan, which allows you to give better and more granular detail in terms of expiry inside of your account. So this is much more suited for enterprise plan customers. You can also share the link with search engines, which means it begins to be ranked inside of Google, Yahoo, Bing, and things like that, which is helpful if you're looking to share a handbook or a blog that you want to grow in popularity over the time of use. You can also have the ability to be publicly duplicated, which means if somebody does have a ClickUp account, it means that they can duplicate it into their spaces and you can use it from right off the bat, which is quite helpful for those who have pretty extensive documents that want to be able to save or templates that they may want to copy from. For example, Handbook could be a good example of this. You can auto size the embed height as well, or you can copy the embed code, which means you can have it on your website if you want to share a public link. Something quite helpful, especially if you're somebody that um, wants to feature it on your website and constantly update it to keep it refreshed and all of the information like that. Now, if I want to copy this, I can share this now and the link will never expire, but it will be allowed to share publicly. But if I wanted to be a bit more specific at who I shared it to, I can actually invite the exact person um, or the email address that I want to. And I can share all pages that are part of this document. Now, in terms of sharing, you can also do exporting pages and the ability to protect pages as well. This is a view that you can lock in to prevent accidental changes if you're sharing it externally with people who have a ClickUp account. So now I have a link that is public. I've just pasted it into an incognito tab to show you what the other person might see. Now they can see obviously all of the page information, including updates and posts. They can also duplicate it, download it, and go up here and sign up for a ClickUp account too. But you can see it's fairly minimalist and fairly simple. And if I had more pages as part of this document, it'd be pretty extensive in terms of being able to share handbook, guide, or resource with them. So folks, hopefully you found that guide helpful in getting started with ClickUp documents and sharing it to private or to public areas. This is helpful for being able to share it with a client and details like that. Just making sure that if you want to have that expiry set up, then you can have, but you need to have the enterprise plan to get started with that. You can find all the details about ClickUp and their pricing plans below, but hopefully you found this video helpful in diving into taking more advantage of documents in ClickUp. Thank you very much folks, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Cheerio.